Welcome to Jazz Time. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you would like to know the price, simply click on the link in the description below. If you enjoy our videos, we'd greatly appreciate it if you would buy a watch at jazztime.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Rolex Day Date 36 Champagne Diamond Dial with President Bracelet Reference 128238. I'm going to talk to you guys about the case, the bezel, the dial, the bracelet, the buckle, the movement, try it on, and give you my thoughts. So let's dive right in. This watch is 36 millimeter, as I said earlier. That's why it's called the Day Date 36. They also make the day date 40, which is as you would think, 40 millimeters. This is the 36 millimeter, so that means both a man or a woman who likes larger watches could wear this watch. It has an oyster case, that means that what the case is made out of, which is what houses the movement here, is made of 18 karat yellow gold. In fact, it's a monoblock middle case with a screw down case back and winding crown. All that means is they take one gigantic piece of gold, they make this case, and it's one piece. Kind of makes sense? As I said earlier, it's 18 karat yellow gold, so it's the, the entire watch is 18 karat gold. That means the bracelet, the case, the bezel, everything. That's probably why it's 30K plus. Okay. Now, as I said earlier, that's the case size. Now, you can decide which one you like best. 40 if you're a man, uh, or 36 if you're a woman, or if you're a man who likes smaller watches or has a smaller wrist, 36 could also be appropriate for you. Okay, now let's move on to the bezel. The bezel is a fluted uh, 18 karat yellow gold bezel. Now they used to make it in domed bezel, but they don't do that anymore. Okay. Uh, and it has a fluted bezel. Now the bezel used to have a functional purpose of keeping the watch watertight. It no longer has that purpose. It's purely there uh, for aesthetics now, but it is a hallmark of Rolex. I guess I should say, this is the updated Day-Date 36, uh, and how it differs from the old Day-Date 36 is that these lugs, you see where the case meets the bracelet, is thinner and more streamlined. That's one of the differences, okay? And it actually, also another difference, we'll get to the movement when I get there, okay? All right, now let's talk about the dial here. The dial is a champagne with, as you guessed it, diamond dial, but it has some interesting things about it. At the six and nine, it actually has baguette diamond dial at the six and nine. And the rest, as you see, the one, two, four, five, 7, 8, 10, 11 have round diamonds. And they're housed, of course, in 18 karat gold as well. And, and Rolex only uses the highest quality diamond. So you can bet that they are near colorless, probably D color, and natural stones, and of course, the absolute best. Okay, now since we're talking about the dial, what do you notice here? You have both the day and the date, hence the name day date. And it has those two functions, which makes this a more complicated watch. It has both the day and the date. Now Rolex does make other more complicated watches, but this one is still pretty complicated in that it has both the day and the date, which is good because sometimes we don't remember if it's Monday or Wednesday or whenever, you can simply look at your watch and tell. And you can also have the date and see what the date is, one through 31. Okay, now that kind of brings us to the next section here. As I said earlier, this is the new Day Date 36. So it has the new movement. Its caliber is 3255. It has a precision of plus minus two seconds a day and it's a power reserve of 70 hours. How does it differ with the old 3155? Well, it's more precise and it has a longer power reserve. The old power reserve was around 50 hours and the old precision was like plus minus seven seconds a day. So they've improved that. Now you might ask yourself, well, what does it matter? Well, does it matter if your car is a four, six, four cylinder or six cylinder? Well, to some people it does and to some people it doesn't. So if it doesn't matter to you, then get the old one that's cheaper. If it matters to you, then get the new one that's more expensive. 
as you wish. We have both of them at jazztime.com. And since we're talking about the back here, I want to bring your attention to something else on the case. You see at the four corners here, you have these hallmarks. They look like little dots. They don't look like anything. Well, if you actually use a loop and look at it, those are actually gold hallmarks that tell you that you're wearing 18 karat yellow gold. Okay. Uh, let, now let's talk about the bracelet. There's, this bracelet is a president bracelet, and that's probably how it's also got its name. And if you look at the bracelet, it is a semi-circular three-piece link. And what does that mean? Well, it's semi-circular, meaning it's a half a circle. And if you look at the center, it's high polished and brushed down the sides. All right. And it doesn't dif differ at all from the old uh, 118238. The bracelet is exactly the same. I want to bring your attention to the buckle, which is a concealed folding crown clasp, and it simply closes like that. Now, it's very good in that it's concealed. The bad thing is that it doesn't have any micro adjust. You cannot adjust it further. It's only one size. That's it. So if your hand gets hot or cold, you only have one size to accept. Now, since we're talking about this buckle, you can look here again at these little marks right here. You see these little marks? Those marks are, again, gold hallmarks telling you that this watch is gold, stamping it in there so that you don't mistake it. Okay? All right, so I've give, gone through the entire watch, and I want to tell you a little bit about my thoughts. Okay? So if you want to buy this watch, please go to jazztime.com, J-A-Z-T-I-M-E.com. We sell this watch at the lowest price anywhere online. So my thoughts on this are, you know, People wanted to go to 40 because they thought, you know, it's so much better or it's bigger. Bigger means better. Well, that's not necessarily true. You know, is having like, you know, the biggest shoes possible or the biggest clothes possible the best? You know, I mean, you know, biggest computer, is that the best? No, not really, right? You, you need to have something that fits. So whatever fits you best is what makes most sense. So what we suggest or I suggest if you buy from us is for you to go try on the watch at your authorized dealer and come back to us for price, you can check out 36 millimeter versus 40, see which one fits better for you. Now, if you're a man and you don't have a, a big wrist, then you know a 36 fits really well. Now, I'm an average man with above average intelligence, but my wrist size is about average, and this watch still looks very, very good on me. And I think, you know, if I had to choose a 30 or a 36 or a 40, you know, I, I'm not sure I would mind, you know, I wouldn't mind this 36. Actually, not only would I not mind it, I think it's a very good buy. And it's actually also, uh, I believe, cheaper. So, you know, that's another thing to think about. So, I mean, you know, you got to choose the watch that makes sense for yourself. Now, if I were to choose between the old movement and the new movement, or the old version and the new version, I definitely would choose the new. Somebody asked me that. In fact, it was the person who bought this watch uh, who asked me that. Would you choose the new or the old? And my answer to him was, well, do you want a 2017 model car or a 2020 model car? And his answer was, well, I'd rather have a new one. I was like, well, then you should buy the new watch. So that's my answer. I mean, it depends on you, of course, but that's my answer. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you want to buy this watch, please go to jazztime.com. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.